Well, this should be like episode 17, I want to think. My son Victor is turning into an arrogant little braggart. I m might have to rein him in a bit. No, he has reason to be proud, so he gets prestige from that, which isn't bad. Or I could try making him humble for piety and... Uh, none of these are really that great. But I think... Proud effects... Well, okay, do I want extra prestige for him? Or extra piety? Because... Well, if I do this, he'll be happy with his upbringing. Yeah, you know what? Why not? It doesn't seem to do that much, uh... That much to him, negatively. In fact, it doesn't have negative effects. It's just extra prestige. It'll be a bit pompous, but... I don't think it's gonna be that bad in the end. What's this? New important decisions available. Celebrate Passover. I would lose 50 gold. As much as I would like to do that. Hold it. You're trying to kill the kid of the guy whom I've got in prison. Why? You know what? I don't fucking care because you've got money and you are the vassal of a vassal, so nothing happens if this fails. Goaty Nut is now safely locked away in my dungeon, awaiting his fate. And he is apparently... Well, it's not showing up, but I'm pretty sure that's lunatic. God damn it, I just... You know, whatever, he's a lunatic. Nobody cares. Goaty Nut... I would like to ransom you, because you got lots of money, and I would like lots of money, and you're in my prison. So, take that. Whatever, you're just the source of income to me. Yeah, I don't care if you don't like me very much. I want the money. And you are but a flea to me. You won't last very long, by the way. Oh, who's this? Alexander of Moray. Hmm. I think... I am going to need to start doing something with him now. Okay, tell you what. I'm going to give you a gift. Okay. Now, how about an honorary title? You can be... Cupbearer? So now his opinion of me is at 28. I only need seven more, so if I give him another honorary tide... Ah. And that's not enough for religious conversion. And... Oh, can I appoint him commander? Does that do anything? I've never done that before. 38! So, I think we can demand religious conversion now. He will accept. When he accepts that, it will increase his opinion even more. Right? Like, that should happen, right? And... Raiders have arrived in Suffolk. But they can't siege the city, so I don't care. Let them do what they will. Peace be with you. I submit to your wise counsel and will 
convert to the Jewish faith forthwith. I think he will jump he will drop out of that faction willingly now. And now I have a commander. Does that mean I can now appoint other generals besides myself? I think that's something they may have done in a recent patch. I, I haven't read the patch notes, but that might be something that I need is to manually make people in my realm commanders. Okay, so I'm going to search my realm for the best male adult generals whom I am capable of making generals or commanders or whatever whatever let's uh... let's drop these down I don't actually want an army raised right now okay so there is a problem solved. We just need to manually appoint who should be our generals. Now take, for instance, Shipil here, who is the Kalpishki of Gowry. He would make a good commander, so you will be my other commander. So now I have two generals, and I can also lead a column of troops myself. That Fraticelli, who I got to convert, has dropped out of the faction. He likes me a lot now. I mean, the funny thing is, whenever you demand religious conversion, it always makes him a bit unhappy, but the opinion that you get from removing the infidel uh, modifier more than makes up for it. You should always demand religious conversion to your vassals if they will accept religious conversion. So, still waiting for uh, Dugald here to get whacked. He's apparently had two wives. Tlai has assembled a party of mercenaries. Right, we've already done this one. The roads just aren't safe anymore. For my enemies. You know, he actually wouldn't be that bad a commander. If only he wasn't an enormous pain in the ass that made me have to kill him. I mean, the real problem is that he's zealous. But... Luckily, I think that means if I were to educate his son, who he named after himself... Who the... Success! The mercenaries ambushed the carriage of Kalpishki Dugald and made short work of him. They let the driver go, and he is convinced the attack was carried out by highwaymen. So, Dugald is dead. Long live Dugald. Because, seriously, who the fuck names their kid after themselves? At least in the Middle Ages. I mean, it's not that uncommon nowadays, but that's because you don't refer to them by the same name. You call them something like Junior, or... find something more creative. But this guy is just Kalpishki Dugald II of Strathairn, and what I think I should do is as soon as he comes of age, I should have him educated by a rabbi to try to turn him Jewish.
which will solve another major problem for me in the future. But until then, looks like he's just got some Fraticellis here. Which, by the way, have you ever noticed how heretics always seem to wear these red hats? Let's see, you were trying to... Oh yeah, you were trying to kill me, so oubliette for you. He's a peasant leader. And a master seducer. Oh, that's interesting. Constantine. Constantine, who hates me because I'm an infidel, a foreigner, and a short reign, and also known murder, and vicious rumors? Oh, uh, who's been doing that? You know, honestly, whoever they are probably is already dead now just because of how many of my enemies I've been killing. I like killing my enemies. I mean, naturally, if you had to kill someone, you'd want it to be your enemies, right? I mean, that just kind of makes sense. Okay, Thordun, I need you out of that faction, so... Yeah, people love the idea of killing a woman. Almost as much as they love killing children. Don't you love killing children, guys? This is what I do. I didn't kill nearly as many people back when I was, uh... playing in the Coronians game, but back during the Coronians, I wasn't a master spy. Nor did I have to worry that much about my vassals, because I could have chosen all of them. Except for two, but the two I couldn't choose were still pretty good. One of them was my possible brother. And because it's more than 200%, this fires immediately. Party of mercenaries again? Wow. A lot of people getting mysteriously killed. Oh, hold it. Tyrconnell. Ah, they're, they're not sieging it down. So let's see whether or not the assassination attempt succeeds, which it probably will, and whether or not I get caught, which I have no idea. Okay, so... A Kalpishki is trying to kill a random courtier. Failure! Thordun got away from the ambush, but at least the disguises of the mercenaries held up. Concealing my involvement. You know what? I'm not surprised considering how many of her relatives had been killed by highwaymen. Highwaymen. But whatever, it's more than 200%, so she'll just die anyways. And she's not even the Kalpishki. She's the Kalpishki's wife, which I guess is also called Kalpishki. And she's just trying to kill a random courtier, which... Can I take a random guess here? This random female courtier that his wife is trying to kill, are you sleeping with her? It's hard to know, but I'm going to assume yes. Well, anyways, it looks like... Most of my rivals... Yeah, I definitely had a lot more rivals than that, but they will die. And I also have an absolute ton of these. it? Traits! Yeah, I have a lot of traits. I like having a ton of traits. And, you know what? How many soldiers do I have? 700 personal levy, 500 vassal levies. You know what, guys? Honestly, I think it's about time to go after Ireland again. So you... You have no allies and... Shit, a thousand troops. Although I could beat that if I raise all of my levies. But I'm not sure I want to beat him considering that he 
is a heretic. I'd kind of like to just let sleeping heretics lie. Drag down Catholic, uh... Catholic... Fuck, what's the word, what's the word I'm trying to looking for? Moral authority. I mean, that's got to be eating at the Pope all the, uh... All the heretics out and about. But I'll... Okay, so... The Earl of Canocta has no allies. Invasion of Ireland. <clears throat> you there. Earl of Leinster. Uh, guess what? Invasion of Ireland. What? Oh, right. I forgot those things cost prestige. So I guess it's just one invasion for now. <coughs> Which is alright. Didn't really have enough troops that I could fight every single enemy if I invaded half of Ireland. If they were to group up. Which they probably wouldn't have. They usually don't do that. But whatever. Let's just... Oh, God, talk about poor balancing. Okay. <coughs> God, my throat is killing me.